Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm with a new Hyundai i20 N-Line 2022 model and in this video it's all about test driving. I will drive the car and I will show you all the information about driving feeling. For example, brakes, suspension, comfort, visibility, acceleration, uh, consumption and all those stuff maybe more you will see in this video if you want to see the full review with this new i20 n line uh, you will find it on my channel if you want to see also with the n performance version you will find it on the channel also the normal version it's on my channel already there if you want to see the full review test drive with those version you can find it already on my channel so in this video it will be really interesting if you are in the market for the uh, i20 n line 2022 it will be a really interesting video i love the car i make the review before and it's a great car guys check out the review i'm right here in switzerland by the way at parisi automobile and i want to give you the technical data before we start driving and uh, i want to tell you that the car price start at 30,300 francs but with this n-line lux package 2600 extra plus the color the lack on the color 600 the final price will be 33,500 francs and here at parisi automobile if you will come right now you will have a 2000 francs discount so the final price will be 31,500 francs and guys as a tip if you come here and you tell them you see my videos and you come from me you will get another uh discount so check them out try this out guys uh, I already speak with them, so it's okay. Good. Now, all I want to tell you is the fact that right here we have the N-Line version with one liter petrol engine TGDI three cylinders in line, and it comes with 48 volt mild hybrid battery. So keep in mind, this version is with 48 volt mild hybrid version because it's another version only with one liter TGDI petrol engine, but that version have only 100 horsepower. But this one with the mild hybrid battery will have 120 horsepower, 200 Newton meters. It's a little bit more powerful and it makes sense in my opinion, because if you will get the normal version, you will have almost the same car as the normal i20. So this is an N-Line. It looks sporty, it looks gorgeous, the car on the exterior. And why not to have some extra power? So my recommendation go with the mild hybrid battery also you save some energy and some petrol over the time also some money also the car come with 17 inch rims they look beautiful on the car uh, also the car come with uh, independent suspension McPherson in the front in the back semi independent suspension the consumption of the car will be around 5.5 liters also the weight of the car 1310 kilograms it's in the A class efficiency class here in Switzerland and it has 120 25 co2 grams emission also the car come with a seven speed dct automatic transmission combined with this one liter petrol engine tgdi and with a 48 volt mild hybrid battery the battery is under the trunk i show you already in the review video if you want to see it check it out i think i give you all the information the price you already know it guys before we start driving don't forget to click the subscribe button also like and share the video i will really appreciate that and what can i say guys let's drive it let's see how it feel all right guys so let's drive it here is the key by the way the car car come with keyless entry into, even if you have the key in your pocket you press this button right here you can lock the car also you can see it comes with electronic folding mirrors also unlock the car press the button the car is unlocked also more about this information you find it in my other video and the review going inside by the way the car come with aluminum pedals and they are awesome I mean look at them guys I don't know if you see it check out the full review there in the other video I have a separate video where I explain everything every single piece of this car you will find it in my full review video seats interior space multimedia everything you find in other videos so if you want to find out more about the car check out the other video it's already probably on the channel if it's not already on my channel just click the subscribe button to see the notification when the video will come out uh, and by the way you hear the door the quality of the doors the sound insulation look how many cars are outside close the door surprisingly 
I didn't expect that, but the sound insulation in the car, it's pretty good. And this is a great thing. It's an automatic transmission here, seven speed DCT gearbox, as I told you before. Also, the car doesn't come with an uh, electronic handbrake. It comes with this manual handbrake. So yeah, doesn't bother you. I mean, it, it tend to be a sporty car. So that's, that's cool. Press the brake. Press the start engine button that is behind the steering wheel right here. Also, the car come with uh, the latest technology in terms of cockpit, the new digital cockpit from Hyundai. Also, you will see it on the Tucson, the new Tucson, the new Santa Fe. Uh, if you want to see more information about this multimedia system, I have a separate video on my channel new multimedia system from Hyundai 2021 and there you find a full review with it full review with the cockpit also it comes with an automatic uh, climatic system here it's really easy to use you have physical buttons here uh, great visibility around the windows great visibility in the mirror big mirrors also there you have great big mirrors uh, also you can see the new N performance I already reviewed uh, if you want to see the video with it check it out guys big mirrors here great visibility in the back i already know the car so that's why i tell you what i'm telling you before start driving the steering wheel it's gorgeous leather red stitches great grip uh, also you have the n logo and also you have the pedals here to change the gear manual if you want to have some fun we will do that uh, later also the car come with a reverse camera of course so you can see in the camera there uh, whatever it is it's not the best the best resolution quality but it's fine it's do his job perfectly you have some usb port 12 volt port you can charge your phone wireless here also the car come with three different driving modes comfort sport and echo so you can drive in echo mode the car will react accordingly comfort sport let's drive it in echo first time put it in drive leave the handbrake down and let's drive it also the engine it's quite silent also the car come with blind spot technology uh, adaptive cruise control emergency brake uh, it can read the traffic speed limit it has a camera up here uh, over the mirror also i don't know guys if you notice but you can hear the exhaust pipes are a little bit aggressive so you can hear a little bit of sportiness come out of those exhaust pipes I like how, how easy and how soft is the steering wheel. Also the quality of the steering wheel, it's, it's gorgeous. Right now we are in eco mode, so the car, the acceleration, it's a little bit more smoother. Yes, the difference, now I tell you the difference between this N line and the N performance the normal N is the fact that the N it's a beast it stick to the ground perfectly and right now I can feel on this one you can feel more comfortable more relaxing it's more close it's a combination between the normal i20 and N it's in the between them you know in the middle so if you want a little bit of sportiness but in the same time you, you want the same relaxing driving and uh, suspension are much more comfortable I can feel that uh, then on the end and the car doesn't stick perfectly uh, to the road like the end but it's still still good still good a great great compromise and great combination between those two now if you change the driving mode in sport mode right now and you accelerate even now the acceleration it's slowly and steady 120 horsepower is not so much but it's enough to have some fun if most of the time you drive in the city right now what i notice it's even the steering wheel right now it's a little bit more stiffer and the car have a better grip than the normal version indeed i can feel that i can feel the different driving modes right now i can really feel that the car is stay quite fun on the road it's not bad didn't expect to be so good but you can actually feel it and even here in roundabout oh yeah okay it's not an N but still 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 yeah you can have some fun with it you can have some fun with it pretty nice 
I like it and also this gearbox the 7 speed DCT gearbox it's quite good you feel a little bit of delay when you accelerate it's not perfect but it, it pulled you really good really it's not bad it's exactly what I was expected I like that the exhaust pipe has some interesting noise there yeah, what, what can you expect guys from one, one liter 3 cylinders uh, you can expect to go nuts but it's, it's, it's pretty good, pretty good, I didn't expect that um, I like it I like it and if I go in comfort mode, let's go to the comfort mode oh yeah, right now the steering wheel is much more softer and even the acceleration is even softer you can see I accelerate and, and eh, need some time it has a little bit of delay in the pedal right now, here oh yeah yes quite nice I like it not bad now you can actually hear a little bit of noise from outside but nothing crazy also you can see a nice graphic on the screen when the battery the 48 volt battery it's recharging when or when the car use the energy from the battery also by the way I forget to tell you that the car come with this autopilot uh, level 2 from Hyundai and I will test it when we go get, when we get back let me deactivate it right now and I will show you when we get back so the car come with this latest technology in terms of uh, cruise smart cruise control uh, Hyundai call it and it's really good it's like Tesla level 2 how it was before also the brakes the pedals feel good in curves it stay quite good and also you stay relatively good on those seats those seats are comfortable nice 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 yes oh yes I love it great job now let's let me activate this doing a good job now set the cruise control let me set it right now to 65 okay 65 look at this the car will I will have the hands here for safety but the car stay between the lanes yeah okay let's try again I don't know why what what's wrong what's wrong what's wrong what's wrong come on I test the Bion I have I have already the review with the new uh, Hyundai Bion and Tucson and all other stuff all other uh, brands car and they, they were doing a good job uh, with with this uh, cruise control I don't know if it's something different or is the same I will test it one more time when we get uh, out of this little city I'm really curious because I see there it's kind of bouncing a little bit and I don't trust it too much I don't trust it too much let's go back to echo mode I like echo mode we can see also the consumption I have 8.1 liter consumption until now from when I start the trip but actually the consumption is not good I have to reset it again right now and we will see again uh, because the, the consumption began one hour ago when I start the car and I stay in the same place let's see here guys how it's doing let's see the lanes okay no 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 come on come on come on what's wrong it's kind of a stay between the lanes but 
it's not what I was expected hey right now we see the lanes didn't see the lane before and now it's see it but I don't know why on Bion was better what's wrong anyway anyway let's see one more time last chance show me what you got come on come on come on come on okay come on cruise come on all right he's doing all right yes not bad okay now it's better I don't know on the highway it should be much better much better on the highway I know the the cruise control from Hyundai in the last uh, on the last cars last models uh, it's it's really good I don't know on this one what's wrong uh, or maybe it's just a matter of moment or road but uh, I tested before on other models and it was working really good even here I know but it didn't see the lanes I don't know why it didn't see it you can see on the screen there it's a steering wheel that show you when it sees the lanes or when it doesn't see the lanes and then you you will know it but yeah overall it should work good yeah what can I say guys uh, I like the suspension are much more um, softer it's, it's a combination on the suspension it's it's very similar with my Tesla model 3 it's a combination between soft and sporty uh, so you have kind of all everything in this car you have the sportiness and you have also the, the soft so yeah as I said in the review it's 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 a great combination between uh, sporty and crazy sporty and normal very easy to maneuver it's also um, aggressive when you want to be aggressive uh, it's small you can park it in small spaces in small places it's doing great over the bumps it's easy to control uh, the gearbox it's great uh, so I guess now it's all about the price if you can get a good price for this car um, I think it should be a great buy you can see how easy it is to park it here between those only with the camera it's incredible easy incredible incredible easy to park and to drive this car to be honest I like the car I like it very much um, that was the test drive guys I hope you really enjoy it I hope you get some useful information from it if you like the video please like it share it also thank you very much for watching my videos guys a rating from 1 to 10 I should say uh, I will give it a 9.5 taking into consideration the price the offer uh, the space the material quality the cockpit the multimedia it's a great car it's a great car overall a lot of great functions like cruise control safety features you have different driving mode you have a great multimedia you have a lot of space in the back for the passengers so yeah what can i say that was the video guys i hope you get some useful information from it don't forget to check out the other videos uh, also thank you very much for watching my videos as always don't forget to subscribe like and share check out our website sda.car.com there you find a lot of articles and videos and information about cars and auto industry until next time stay safe guys also i will leave the link in the description if you want to buy the car if you're in switzerland around switzerland check out parisi automobile they have great price tell them them you see my video tell them you are from me and you will get a discount tell them and then write me back anyway thank you very much for watching stay safe guys and i guess i see you soon in the next one bye